When I think of peppermint, I think of red and white stripes, this very characteristic pattern. And it's very interesting because stripes in the Middle Ages were a sign of the transgressor, the outcast, prisoners eventually. And in the course of the modern era, it has become associated with wholesomeness to the extent that in the 1940s, this program of volunteer nurses called Candy Stripers wore characteristic smocks that were red and white stripes. As a neurobiologist, what we're interested in understanding was how our bodies are able to sense cold. And the hypothesis was, well, if there is a plant substance, peppermint, menthol from mint leaves, that gives you a cold sensation, maybe it could be used to identify a receptor in our bodies that senses cold. And that's indeed what happened. We identified a protein called TRPM8, which is essentially a trigger on cold sensing nerve fibers to send an electrical signal to the brain to let you know that you're feeling cold. So the way that peppermint flavored candies and gums are giving a sensation of cold is they're tricking your nervous system into thinking it's colder than it actually is. At this time of year, peppermint is big business. If you go on Amazon, you'll find over 50,000 products if you search for peppermint. When we look at peppermint, when we taste peppermint, when we smell peppermint, these are all very strong sensory experiences wired in our brain in a way that kind of makes a detour around our thought process and goes directly to our emotions. Marketers are very adept at taking advantage of this immediacy, and that's the power of peppermint. The Greeks and Romans used some plants as medicines, and mint is a very good example. In the medical writings attributed to the Greek doctor Hippocrates, mint was used to remedy nausea. Mm -hmm. And when we come to the Roman world, uh, Pliny the Elder tells us that peppermint can be inhaled to improve the mood and lift the spirits. I think what's wonderful as a scientist when the word peppermint crops up as it does in the holidays is first of all to think about it as a botanist word. Plants are such wonderful chemical factories. Peppermint is the most prime example of this. Think of those smells and tastes and the feeling of the holiday to capture a sense of how important it is to be with family and friends. So from all of us at USC Dornsife, we wish you the very best as we enter the new year and fight on.